David? Yeah? Uh, you're a 13? Oh, 12? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. What's up there, Buckaroo? Uh, I gave my little brother Viagra when they switched it with my Adderall. What? Perfectly normal, perfectly wait minute, healthy. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who, somebody gave you Viagra? No, no, I have ADD, and the, uh... I understand. Shop thing, um, over by my house, they, like, it, it was, they gave me the wrong bottle. They gave you Viagra instead of your Adderall. And it did, yeah, it didn't say my name on it or anything. And do you normally give your medications to your little brother? No. Why did you give this one to him? Because he was, like, chasing me around. I said, hey, dude, this isn't mine. And so he, like, chased me around, and he was getting really annoying and so i threw it at him and he like managed to get the top thingy off and how old is he he's five whoa whoa oh, when, when did this happen like i don't know like on friday i think did you tell your parents about this no i why not what am i supposed to say you, there was an accident and you're in your viagra yeah but well, the bottle that what you shouldn't have had in the first place he got his hands on and got it oh, wait a minute how does how do you know it was viagra because it said Viagra and some other guy's name on it. And w- wait, why, why didn't, at the time, when did you discover that it wasn't yours? Like, when I got home. Okay, why didn't you give it to your parents at that point? Because, I don't know. Hey, it's a demon, this kid. Dude. So, what happened to your brother? Uh. Humped the bejesus out of the dog? I don't know. No. He, like, he had a sleepover, and that's what freaked me out. Oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> this this just keeps getting thicker. Uh, the five-year-old hopped up on Viagra has a slumber party? No, he goes to one, except that, like, I tried to get him into trouble so he wouldn't go, but it didn't work. All right, so he went to a sleepover. Yeah, and yeah. I want to know, like, what he's going to do. At... Well, wait a minute. Whoa, have, whoa, whoa. You, have you talked to him since Friday? No, it was... It's, he has, it's in a... It was at his friend's house who, like, moved away. How did he so, seem for the f- couple hours after? He went out, he went out of state for a sleepover? Yeah. Uh, for the couple hours afterward, I didn't see him because he went to bed at, like, 8, and it was... And when was I this? I don't know, actually. Do you when, still have this medication on you? Do I have it, like, with me now? Yeah. Do no, you st- I threw it all away. Okay. And uh, w- Next time he sent it to Uncle Adam. Uh, and care of the radio station. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm confused. You, he, he went to hold bed, on a and second. then he hold, went to hold, a slumber hold on, party? Hold on a second. This kid is 13. Yeah. 13's young, yeah. but it ain't that young. Yeah. I mean, when we were 13, were you in the eighth grade? Yeah. Yeah. You show up, you do your homework, you converse with other kids, yeah. you ask girls out on dates. Yeah. I mean, you have wood shop. You're not like, hey, and, and then he, and then Barney gave me something shiny. And then, I mean. Some, but there's such a thing as that. At 13. Oh, there is. I don't. Uh, you don't have to tell me, but yeah. hold on. Let me talk to this lad. I'm going to have a quick man-to-man with him. Hey, David? Yeah? Why, wake up. You're 13 years old. In the Jewish religion, you're a man, technically, right now. Whoa. You understand? Yeah. You're lucky you're not a Jew. They toss you right out. Now, oh. listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. You gave, you, you got the Viagra. I understand that. You gave it to your little brother. He's five. He took the pill. He you took it. Shut up. Only- Shut up. Shut up. Listen to me. He took it that night? Yeah, he took one of them. He took one of them that night. <clears throat> then what? Did he go to bed at home that night? Yeah. Yes, he went to bed at home. But he went to bed at home. He went to bed at home. Yes. And you went to bed at home. Yes. But you didn't see him the next morning. No, because he left early. Because he left early to go on a sleepover. Yeah, because his... All right. And he seemed... He got in the car and drove with your parents, actually not your parents, but just your mom, your parents are divorced, to this sleepover the following morning. Yeah, with okay. other kids. Okay, all right, back. with other kids, fine. Not a problem, it's out of his system very shortly. There but you go. I know of no cases of uh, young people taking this. I'm sure there have been incidental exposures because none of that medicine is out there, and I, I've not seen any data of any serious complications from that, but you need to tell your parents about it. Let me tell you with this, David, I was this close to taking my belt off. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a belt. I just have a drawstring because I wear sweatpants. That would have done enough damage. I'm looking at the drawstring. That's what I'm going to threaten my kid with. Don't make me pull this drawstring <laughs> out and do uh, do yeah. the cats in the cradle thing. Here's the awful thing about that age of that 12, 13. Oh, Jacob's ladder, your ass. <laughs> yeah. that, you guys, that 12, 13, oh. 14 age group, some, some of our callers who are 13 sound like David. Yeah. Some sound like Barry White. 
Right. Yes, it's right. just it's an awful age. Yeah, it, it's great because oh, yeah. yeah, later on tonight we'll talk to a thirteen-year-old. It's like <clears throat> I was fingering this bitch in my gr- my <laughs> brother's van. <laughs> my dad walked in. <clears throat> we just put back a couple of highballs, and I had some reefer. And uh, my dad <laughs> come in. He wasn't pissed, but he wanted in. You know, <laughs> the wrestle probably kicked his ass. <laughs> so I beat him with a tire iron, and we got done fingering this bitch. And then, yeah, I mean, we'll talk to them tonight.